Hi, this is Joe from RouterFreak.com. Um, today I want to go over uh, a topic that's a little confusing to some of, the, uh, some of my students and uh, to engineers in general that I work with, um, and that is uh, understanding um, what a, a collision domain is. And um, today what we have is, a, we're, on the screen we have a, a, a single network segment with two computers, computer A and computer B. Computer A, his IP address is 192.168.1.10. Computer B is 192.168.1.11. So when computer A needs to talk to computer B, they're on the same, they're on the same uh, physical wire. Um, they are on um, they have the same network segment. And um, you could kind of look at this as say this is some sort of uh, say maybe there's like a, a hub. Or, or a small hub here. Let's pull, pull a hub up here. Okay, so here's a here's a small hub that's uh, that's connected to our network. And through this hub, these guys are able to to talk to each other. Now they're on the same um, collision domain. So, and what that means is, is that when these two guys talk, they hear each other. It's kind of like being in a in a big room. And if you think about um, what Ethernet is, um, and the term Ethernet, um, the ether, uh, meaning the air, it's a broadcast medium, meaning um, it's, it, it, think of it like um, two people standing in a room, and they're just talking. Well, they can hear each other, but then if there's anybody else in the room, they can hear them too. So if we were to go and um, we were to add uh, some more, uh, more people join, or add, you know, uh, jump on the network or um, want to basically come into our room or come into our party, <laughs> so to speak, you know, and they all start talking, you know, um, well, they all can hear each other and uh, they can carry on a conversation just fine. But what happens if, you know, the, this keeps getting bigger and bigger? Well, eventually it starts getting really noisy, like, like you're at a party uh, in a big room, everyone's talking at the same time. Eventually, what happens is, is you have um, these two com these two people, computer A and computer B, who are originally talking with each other. Well, they can't hear each other as well. And what starts to happen is, is you start getting um, what's called um, collisions, and the packets start colliding on the network. And then everybody has to kind of um, re-say what they were already saying just like at a party it gets very loud and you're sitting there talking to somebody and you're like I can't I can't hear you could you say that again please and eventually what happens is is that uh, the two of you are trying to have a conversation well what do you normally do well let's you say well you know I can't really hear you let's go into the other room so we can have a better conversation and that's essentially what people do is they go into another room uh, it would be nice if computers could just all of a sudden join their own segment to have uh, have their conversation, but that that's not really the case. They can't really do that, right? So what can we do? What can we add to this network to kind of cut down on a lot of that chatter? Well, what we do is we add a switch. And now what the switch does, it provides um, segmentation at the layer two, the OSI, uh, OSI layer two, and layer two is, what is layer two? Layer two is the, um, it's the data link layer, right? So at the data link layer, if I can spell this, if it's going to allow me to, data link. So that's where switches operate at layer two, the data link layer. And um, what switches do are they segment collision domains. They segment these into their own personal uh, private rooms, I guess you could kind of say. Now, what they do, what it does do, it bridges these segments together. So switches have evolved from bridges. Um, a bridge uh, in the old days would segment collision domains. Um, it would bridge together two physical network segments so that the two segments could talk to each other, but it would also still segment uh, these collision domains. What switches are essentially are um, a bunch of bridges. 
they, uh, this port is bridged to this port and it's bridged to this port because they're all on now the same virtual LAN or VLAN, right? So we have um, port 1, port 2, and port 3 are all bridged together because they're all on the same uh, same virtual LAN and it allows us to bridge all these together. And so that's basically what a collision domain is. Is um, a collision domain is a, a, a layer two segment um, that you know we could we could also have we could have a hub here we could where's our where's our little hub just to kind of give you an idea um, if I can find it again um, find our little our little hub and um, we could we could put that hub back you know our hub and so whew, that's a big hub huh um, we could put that hub back on the segment. Uh, hanging off of this switch port, and then we could end up, we could end up creating a whole bunch more computers. But then we'll be right back to where we started, right? Now we have this one room that's very overcrowded, and it's really not giving, it's, we're not utilizing the benefit of this switch, and that benefit is to um, segment our broadcast domains, and we would end up another problem. And you see this a lot in production networks where you'll have a hub hanging off of a switch port. Uh, a lot of labs will do this. Um, you'll have uh, a hub that has a bunch of devices, and then people start complaining. Well, my net my network uh, performance is is slow or it's bad. Well, they've ended up they've put a, a hub out here, and it's and you're not um, you, you you've got a a lot of issues out here now with this hub. So the best way to uh, to set your network up don't have a hub. Have everybody connected right off the switch, and all the conversations will be nice and crystal clear. Um, and that's it for collision domains. Um, in the next video we're going to do is we're going to take this this discussion of collision domains and we're going to see how um, collision domains and broadcast domains and how they differ. I hope this was hope, uh, hope this was beneficial to you guys. Um, again, my name is Joe Wilson from routerfreak.com. As always, uh, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon.